Welcome to a special on snow snowmobile review of the 2024 Riot 9000 with electronic power steering. As some of you may may know, maybe maybe don't know, I was a part of the Articat new model photo shoot for 2024 in Wyoming, and uh, they gave us some free time to ride uh, trail, mainly trail riding, with uh, some of the biggest names in snowmobiling, like. Riley Kincaid, Dave McClure, and Todd Tupper. Three great individuals. They were a lot of fun to trail ride with, and I enjoyed that very much. One of the snowmobiles that I rode was the Riot 9000 you see here. I also got to ride the 2024 Thundercat with EPS. While I don't have video footage of that because it's a different day, it's basically the same review. I mean, there's nothing else in the Articat lineup that's anywhere close to the capabilities of the Thundercat and the Riot 9000. And for that reason, I think they stand alone at what I would consider the top of the food chain. That engine is just such a sweetheart. What a great engine. What surprises me about this engine is how smooth it is. Even at lower RPMs and uh, slower speeds, you know, it seems like the most powerful engine fitted to a snowmobile should be finicky and cantankerous and kind of hard to deal with, a beast that needs to be tamed. But it's nothing like that. This is an engine that's very easy to please right from the time you start out until you're wide open. Everything in between. When you first get on the sled and you start out slowly, there's no hint at what that turbo triple is capable of. Squeeze the throttle and you find out quickly though. The arm stretching acceleration is impressive and you better have a good grip of the handlebars or the sled will launch without you. The Articat Procross chassis is probably the best platform for such a big engine and it handles the weight and power extremely well. Ride quality on either the Thundercat or the Riot 9000 is actually quite good. With the electronic power steering though, it makes it uh, that steering is very intuitive. Once you start moving, you forget all about steering. There's no effort involved. It's so easy, it just happens. Once you start moving, you forget all about steering. It's where your brain goes. You just, the snowmobile goes where your brain wants to go. In my opinion, the Riot 9000 is a trail sled that offers much better traction than the Thundercat, either on hard pack or loose snow trail conditions. Because of the added track length, you get much better traction, but you also sacrifice a little bit in the corners. So the Thundercat will go around a corner without too much trouble. The Riot 9000, you have to think ahead a little bit. The Riot, in my opinion, the Riot 9000 is better for wider, straighter trails uh, and lakes. Things where you don't have to turn quite as sharp, you don't have to corner quite as abruptly. You know, you can plan ahead a little bit. The Thundercat is going to be better on narrower, twisty trails, the fewer wide open stretches, and uh, the longer track of the Riot is better on the straightaways. One concern I have about either sled, these are heavy machines, and they don't corner as well as their smaller engine siblings. The electronic power steering makes you think you can corner as good, if not better, but it's easy to overestimate the bite of the skis, especially on the Riot, and there is noticeable understeer. Even though the Yamaha Triple is a is such an easygoing uh, power plant at slow speeds, these are not beginner snowmobiles. The Thundercat and Riot 9000 are for advanced riders only. Giving this much power to a beginner or even an intermediate rider is a recipe for trouble, and it wouldn't take much of a mistake to lead to disaster. You want a little bit of uh, training or something when you when you move up to the to that big triple cylinder four stroke, but. For those that can handle the power, it is very rewarding. These sleds are a lot of fun. The 9000 series machines from Articat are incredibly well engineered and the adrenaline rush is awe-inspiring. Would I buy one for myself? Absolutely. Would I make sure everyone knows how awesome the sled is? Yep, absolutely. Would I let someone ride it? I doubt it. I don't think so. With that in mind, Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope I see you on the trail.